What it do, you too. It's your boy Drew. So today we got my little friend, the 709 Slim. And I recently, as you can see, I recently made it stainless steel. Took off the black coating that came on it, the black finish. And I took it off with a piece of sandpaper and nail polish remover, spill proof pump, 100% acetone, professional strength. Okay, I used this small screwdriver for the sights, and I used this kind of bigger screwdriver for the front sight on the inside. And so today we're going to be basically polishing the gun, the 709 Slim, making it a mirror finish on it. I'm going to be using Mother's Mag and M Aluminum Polish, Shine and Protect, Protect, Shine and Protects Automotive Metals. Okay, this is what you see on the front. There's no shine like mothers. That's what it look like. Inside of it. Oh, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it. It's cool, though. It's cool. It's going to get on my gloves anyway. All right. All right, so I got a rag so I can polish it with toothbrush dirty use it to clean stuff with got a toothbrush so I can take off the rest of this black and I'm gonna use this too to take off the rest of the black use these to take off the sights and let's get started all right so now I'm about to take off the black Make sure everything smoothed it out before I polish it. Take off the black in there. I was going to keep them, but see, as you can see, I kind of swiped it with the acetone. So it kind of started coming out. Start cleaning it. Okay. Grab the acetone. The pump. The barrel. Okay. Make sure you got a little piece of sand and paper. And for now, I'll be using this little piece of cloth I have. Well, it's a long piece of cloth, but be using this. Okay. Grab the slide. Your cloth. Get some acetone on it. If you ain't got cloth, you can use like tissue. Something like that. Anything soft. Rub it down. Okay. As you can see, it's starting to come out.
understand? So it's starting to look like, starting to get it out. Probably gonna need some more sandpaper. Try to get it pretty clean. Try my best. Try to get it clean, clean, so clean, so clean, clean. Uh, shit. Okay, Let's blow on a little bit. So, that's what it's looking like right there. That's what it's looking like on the other side. Comparison. I got a little residue from you scrubbing the black and the metal. That happens. Okay. Grab your rag a little, a little more. Put a little more acetone on it. Wipe it down. Pretty much should come clean with the acetone. You want to clean as much as you can so it can have a real smooth mirror finish. Okay, so I see a little bit in the corners down here. I'm gonna try to use some Q-tips to remove it. Okay. Yeah, it's getting it pretty clean. The first one compared to all the other ones. Get pretty clean. It's working. Alright. Put a little pressure on it, put a little pressure on it. Wanna get them corners real good so it can be a smooth finish. Might have to hit this with a little more sandpaper. Way it's feeling. Getting pretty clean. Put 
Alrighty. So, yeah, I basically see what I'm doing, cleaning it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm pause it here and show y'all how to rest when, after I get done with it. Alright, so now I scrubbed as much as I could out of the ridges. It's still a little bit in the front room right here. That was kind of hard to get. But pretty much did what needed to be done on the gun. So now I can polish it. Let me put a towel down. Start polishing it. Move the camera a little bit. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Open up Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. What it looks like again. Just say you need a small amount, so I'm gonna just start with the, the cap. Alright. Said it should turn black. Should it turn to a black residue. You got a pretty shiny, but it's not like a mirror finish. I'll probably have to do a couple coats of this to get an actual mirror finish. But I can see that it's making it shiny. Scrubbing it just work on one place. Should have just started in the front. Uh, put some in the back and on top. I think this move this side way more shiny. But we gonna see. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Say do as much, apply as much as needed. So I might keep going with another coat.
it apply in all directions. So I'm trying to move it around as much as I can, different directions. Mm -hmm. Starting to get pretty shiny. I think I'm starting to see a mirror reflection. We gon' see. We gon' see. Most definitely, I think I'm starting to see a mirror reflection right there on the edge. Starting to see a mirror reflection right there, like on the edge. So I'm gonna keep buffering it out to see will it totally go mirror. All right. Don't have to press down hard. Just go back and forth with it. Soft. Just in a motion. Getting pretty shiny. I don't really see that mirror reflection. I see it a little bit. But I want it like smooth, real. Yeah, you guys. Sorry, my, I ran out of space on my phone. So this is after I didn't polished it and shined it. It got pretty shiny. I like it. Tour 709 and then I put night sights on it with some glow in the dark glue. I mean not glue, glow in the dark paint. But it ain't a, the best paint. I'm gonna get some more paint that's better than this. But let me show you. Let me turn this light off. Alright. You can kind of see them right there. You kind of see them. The night sights, but if you put a light on it, like a flashlight, it kind of charges them up. So those the night sights that I have on it. And yeah, PT709 shined it up with mothers. Pretty good gun. Like it. Thanks for watching.